Okay, so we're going to first label our sides, A, B, and C. Find your right angle. Here's my right angle. The side that's opposite from that is the hypotenuse. So we're going to label this with a C. So this is my C. The other two sides are my legs. Here's one of the legs. And here's the other leg. Label one of them with an A, the other one with a B. It doesn't matter which you call A and which you call B. So then I'm going to write the formula for the Pythagorean theorem down. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's a lot. Then I'm going to substitute my numbers in. A is 5, B is 1, and C is unknown. Then I'm going to evaluate my exponents. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is 1. And bring down your C squared. Do your addition over here, you get 26. And then your next step, you're going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 26 and the square root of C squared. The square root of C squared is just C. The square root of 26, we need our calculator. Press second x2, the x squared key, and then type in 26 and press equals. And you get about 5.09901914. If you're rounding to the nearest tenths, that zero is going to go up because of the nine, so it's going to be 5.1. So my answer for the length of the hypotenuse is 5.1.